Hi, it's Noel from creationeffects.com and this is the tutorial for using the halftone effects template for After Effects. The template has three unique custom effects for your footage and these effects imitate the different printing methods from back in the day when a uh, printer would recreate images by printing a series of large dots and patterns. And you can easily customize the effects with slider control so you can really create a variety of looks. It's really easy to use and I'm going to go through all the features right now so let's get into it. A lot of my customers run into a problem with errors in After Effects because they didn't open the file correctly, so I want to quickly go over the correct way to do it. If you purchase a template, you'll download a zip file with the project file inside it. And if you're on a Mac, you can just double click it to open it, but if you're on a PC, you should right click it and choose to extract or unzip the contents, and that will prevent errors when you open the project. And once open, you'll see some instructions for getting started. I'll hide those because uh, I'm going to tell you what to do. The first step is to import your footage and drag it into this comp here named Your Footage. So I'll go to Import and choose my file and click OK. And here it is. So I'll just drag that into the comp like this. And now would be a good time to color correct your footage uh, because the effect works best if your footage has a good dynamic range to it. So you want the brightest parts of your footage to be pure white and the darkest parts of your footage to be pure black. So I'll select my footage and add a levels effect. And it's okay if you don't know how to read this histogram, but uh, you can see that there's this big area here with no wave information. And that means that the footage is too dark. So since it's on this right side, I'll take this right arrow and drag it inward to where the wave starts about here. And you can see how much better and balanced that looks now. So the effect will work better. Now you can open any of these three halftone effect folders and uh, you'll see a main comp inside which has your footage with the effect. And at the top, there's this control layer and if you select that and then go to the Effect Controls panel, you'll see a bunch of slider controls uh, which you can adjust to customize the look of the effect. So you can do stuff like add an outline uh, from your footage and bring in the color from your footage and you can change the shape and size and spacing of the dots and change the detail level. And you can give it a border like a frame from a comic book and all that good stuff. Another thing I want to show you is how to change the paper texture. And this comp has a paper texture layer here, composited over everything. And you can find more paper texture options if you open this dynamic textures folder and inside the, the paper textures folder. Now, rather than just dragging this into the comp, it's better to swap it with the original paper texture that's in there uh, because this layer has some effects and expressions that we want to keep. So there's a method to swap them out. You just select the layer and then select the paper texture comp that you want to use up here and then hold down the Alt or Option key and click and drag the new texture onto the existing layer. And I should tell you that you can quickly preview what any of these textures look like inside this dynamic textures preview comp. And also if you uh, open up any of these comps you'll see that these texture animations have their own control layer, which will allow you to customize how that paper texture looks. Okay, back in the main comp with our halftone effect, uh, there's this stop motion effect layer here. And it's off by default because I found it to cause some major delays when I preview the comp in Creative Cloud. But it's an important effect and it, it doesn't seem to cause any delays when exporting the video. So I suggest that you just keep it off while you're customizing the effect and then turn it on when you're ready to do a final preview or a render. And what it does is it lowers the frame rate and adds subtle variation to the rotation and the position and the exposure of each frame. And the result is it gives it this the look of a, a stop motion animation. So that's the template. It's really straightforward. Uh, if you like this, you'll want to check out the Artifacts template, which includes these halftone effects and also over 40 other custom artifacts for your footage. Uh, all in one package. So you'll find effects in there like claymation and a Van Gogh painting and pencil sketch. Or the other popular templates are the VHS effects and glitch effects, old film, 
custom storybooks, and there's a lot more as well. So please check it out. That's it. I'll see you next time, and I hope you enjoy the effects.